Today we'll be discussing about embryonic development of frog. So let us be familiar, the study of development of an organism is called embryology or developmental biology. And the entire process of development is called embryogenesis or ontogenesis. Aristotle is regarded as the founder of embryology and Ernest Van Veer is regarded as the father of modern embryology. So development is the series of changes that takes place in a zygote, which is a fertilized egg in order to form a complete organism. Embryonic development in all sexually reproducing metazoans begins from a single cell and follows the same fundamentally similar sequence of events. The sequence of events before and during the embryonic development of frog includes gametogenesis, fertilization, cleavage, lustulation, gastrulation, organogenesis, differentiation, morphogenesis, and growth. So let us discuss each one of them. Very first stage in embryonic development is gametogenesis. Or you can also address it like, it is a process by which diploid cells undergo cell division and differentiation to form mature haploid gametes. Female gametes are made in the ovaries whereas male gametes are made in the testes. Female gametes are considered as eggs or ova whereas male gametes are considered as sperm. The process of formation of egg or ova is called oogenesis and the process of formation of sperm is called spermatogenesis. And the second stage is fertilization. Fertilization is a complex physiochemical process which involves the fusion of male and female gametes. Based on location, fertilization is of two types external fertilization and internal fertilization. External fertilization usually takes place outside the body whereas internal fertilization takes place inside the body. External fertilization mainly occurs in animals which lay eggs in water. So frogs, they lay eggs in water so they have external fertilization. So the sperms are released on the egg mass before it reaches water. When a sperm enters into the egg of frog, second meiosis division occurs. The egg of frog is telolithical, that means yolk is present at one end of the egg. And the egg is divided into two halves. One half is deep blackish brown due to the presence of superficial layer of pigment called animal hemisphere or animal pole. The other half is white or lighter layer containing yolk called the vegetal hemisphere or vegetal pole. A large nucleus lies in the pigmented half or animal pole. In between the animal and vegetal poles, there is a small area which is called gray crescent. Gray crescent appears in the equatorial zone geometrically opposite to the sperm entrance and the gray crescent marks the dorsal side of the future embryo. The sperm entrance point marks the anterior side of the future embryo. The bilateral organization is established at the time of sperm penetration. The reason where sperm enters the egg is called reception cone. The egg is covered by transparent and thin vitaline membrane, so called the fertilization membrane, as it prevents the entry of other sperms. So the fusion of male and female gametes or zygote is formed, and the early cell division of zygote up to the completion of blastulized stage is called cleavage. The first cleavage of frog is meridional. Passing through median longitudinal axis, the first cleavage furo appears at animal pole and results in two blastomeres right and left. Now here, you might get confused about this term blastomere. When the cleavage furo divides the egg into two equal halves or two equal cells, then it is called blastomere. After the first cleavage stage, there comes the second cleavage stage, which is also holoblastic and equal, as well as vertical, like first cleavage, but at right angle to the first. As a result, Four cells or blastomeres of equal size are formed. Holoblastic equal cleavage in frog ends after second cleavage division. That is, all divisions from the third cleavage are unequal holoblastic. The third cleavage is horizontal, passing just above the equatorial plane. Therefore, division is unequal. Till the second cleavage stage, equal blastomeres were formed. Now, from the third cleavage stage, unequal blastomeres will get formed. So the third cleavage stage, forms 8 unequal blastomeres. Out of 8 blastomeres, upper 4 are smaller and are called micromeres and the lower 4 are quite bigger so are called megameres or macromeres. Micromeres lie at animal pole and megameres at the vegetal pole. The 4th and 5th division are again vertical similar to 1st and 2nd division. As a result, 
16 and 32 cells or blastomeres are formed. Megamers are the large portion of the yolk laden cells which multiply slower. However, in micromeres the yolk is absent, therefore this multiply rapidly. As a result of repeated and irregular cleavage, now the embryo looks like mulberry shaped ball of a cell or a ball of a blastomere and that ball of cells is known as morula. Do you remember the formation of two cell in the first cleavage division? Yes, that two cell divides embryo in two equal halves and that represents the right and left half of the embryo. One hemisphere of morula or one half of the morula is composed of small, black, and yolkless cells known as micromeres. And the other hemisphere or other half is composed of large number of white and yolk laden cells or yolk containing cells which is known as megamers or macromeres. The micromere dives more rapidly than the megamere which results in formation of a small cavity which is filled with fluid or liquid and it is known as blastocele or segmentation cavity. After the formation of blastocele cavity, the morula converts into blastula or you can say the blastocele cavity during a stage is known as blastula. The floor of blastocele is composed of layer of yolk containing megamers while the roof of blastocele is composed of micromeres. Blastocell cavity contains of albuminous fluid secreted by surrounding cells. Now the presumptive ectoderm is formed by the micromeres of animal pole and is divisible into epidermis and neural plate which is also known as nervous system. A small area near the vegetal pole is the presumptive notochord which later forms vertebral column and the region of gray crescent consists of presumptive dorsal side and the remaining part of the vegetal pole forms the presumptive endoderm. If we talk about the size, then the blastula of frog is the same size of that of zygote. Blastula stage or blastulation is followed by gastrulation. Gastrulation is characterized by the migration and rearrangement of cell so that the single layered blastula is transferred into a two layered embryo. Gastrulation includes three kinds of morphogenetic movements of cells, namely epiboli of ectoderm, invagination of endoderm and involution of crodomesoderm. By the end of gastrulation, blastula is converted into three-layered embryo made up of ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm often covering an archenteron. So the first morphogenetic movement of gastrulation is epiboli. Migration and spreading of micromeres over the megamers is known as epiboli. Small area in the region not involved by epiboli is yolk plug. Yolk plug is seen in gastrula stage. And the second morphogenetic movement in gastrulation is invagination of endoderm. Invagination is also known as emboli. And the invagination of prospective endoderm cells occurs below the equator, exactly below the midpoint of gray crescent of blastula. It results in the formation of slit, later giving rise to blastopore. And the third morphogenetic movement of gastrulation is involution of croda mesoderm. This is the insinking and movement of croda mesoderm cells towards the anterior side along the roof of blastocele. Gastrulation results in the formation of new cavity, which is known as archenteron. And the archenteron cavity opens outside through the blastopore. Archenteron is present in the lumen of future gut. Blastopore will give rise to future anus in frog. There is another term known as ingression. Ingression is the migration of individual vegetal cells to the interior of the embryo. By the end of gastrulation, blastocell cavity will be reduced. The plug of endodermal origin closes the blastopore. The side of frog's embryo bearing the yolk plug represents posterior side of future tadpole. Organogenesis begins with the formation of notochord. Other stage is new relation. New relation comprise the formation of neural tube, notochord, and cut. The formation of neural tube is known as neurulation and that of the notochord is known as notogenesis. The embryo increase in length along its anterior posterior axis and the neural plate becomes thickened and raised above the general level as ridges called neural folds. Neural folds meet and fuse at the mid dorsal line. Now let us talk something about postneural development. The postneural development takes place inside egg membrane up to tail. The hatching occurs after 6 days of embryonic life. The newly hatched tadpole larva remains attached to aquatic plants by its oral sucker. After 24 hours of hatching, the anus and mouth are perforated. The tadpole larva now elongates and forms head, trunk and tail.